And I guess if I have one message to those listening is that um, we, we need to take the rhetoric down. Be careful what you post. Um, think about what you say on social media. Think about what you say to your neighbors and friends and family. Um, we, we, this is a time, every time is a time, but this is the time we need to reach out to each other. Has this gotten even more pronounced lately? Uh, this being? The attitude, the anger, the... I think we've seen a, a ratcheting up of the division and the vitriol. And uh, we certainly, in the, when I was in the congressional office, um, got terrible phone calls and, you know, the, uh, the, the uh, language was, was extreme. Uh, however, a lot of my friends who have stayed working in congressional offices, Democrat and Republican, are hearing just uh, awful things. And so we've, we've lost that decorum in our country, and we need to see if we can get it back. How would you do that? Well, I think it starts very young, and we really need to, two things, uh, teach uh, how to discuss with civility, and we also need to um, model that, and especially in social media, we need to model. Have we lost the ability to disagree agreeably? Um, I hope not. Uh, I know that one-on-one, -on -one, sitting with people, you can have conversations, and we somehow feel like with the protection of, of um, email or Facebook that we say things that we might not say face-to-face. -face. Now, we're just starting to find out a little bit more about the, the man who did the shooting. Mm -hmm. Does this say anything about gun issues as well? Well, gun issues will always be 